This is the second part of Terminology Made Simple. We will use pattern analysis to describe the, the objects that we see with dermatoscopy. Pattern analysis is simple and consistent and uses a simple language. This is a lesion, to be specific, a melanoma, viewed with dermatoscopy. We can see multiple patterns. We can see globules or clots, we can see lines, and we can see a structuralist pattern. And all we need to do is to describe these patterns and then to make a diagnosis. Well, we are really good in describing patterns. We humans are used to classify objects by patterns. Here, for example, it, we have no difficulties to differentiate between a zebra that has a pattern of stripes and a Dalmatian dog that has a pattern of dark spots. In fact, pattern analysis make us humans intelligent. What is a pattern? A pattern consists of multiple elements of the same type. For example, multiple lines or multiple spots. Multiple lines form a pattern of lines. Multiple spots form a pattern of spots. First of all, before we go into the patterns that we see in thermatoscopy, we have to define the basic elements that compose a pattern. And to make it as simple as possible, there are only five basic elements in thermatoscopy. Lines, dots, clots. What is a clot? Well, a clot is a well-circumscribed solid object that is larger than a dot and may have any shape. A dot is only small and uh, round. A clot may be polygonal or it may be oval. What is a globule? A, a globule is a is a special type of clot, a special type that is oval and small. Then we have circles and we have pseudopods. And what is a basic pattern in dermatoscopy? A pattern is formed by one of the five basic elements, such as lines, pseudopods, circles, clots, or dots. Lines may form five different patterns. If the lines are straight, and arranged in a network-like pattern, we call them reticular lines. If the lines are straight, but they do not cross in a right angle, in different angle, they cross each other in different angles, these lines are called branched. If the lines are straight and do not cross, they are called parallel. If the lines are straight and converge to the center of the lesion, they are called radial. And if the lines are curved, and not straight, their lines are called curved. Of course, all other four elements may also form a pattern. A pattern of dots, a pattern of clots, a pattern of circles, a pattern of pseudopods. And finally, if there is no identifiable, base, identifiable basic element, we call this pattern structureless. Of course, we also have colors. We need patterns, which is structure, and colors. You know, in thermatoscopy, we have different colors, colors that are that come into being because of melanin, like black, brown, gray, and blue, depends on where the melanin is located. Then colors that come into being because of keratin, yellow, orange, which is a mix of keratin and melanin, and white, which may be keratin, but also indicates the absence of any pigment like melanin and f is, for example, present when there is sclerosis in the dermis. And finally, we have hemoglobin, which, which can be red or purple. And pattern analysis is a simple descriptive language that uses pattern, which is structure, and color, and usually this is enough to make a diagnosis. For example, a lesion viewed clinically, then with dermatoscopy, which pattern? Well, the structure is clots, so we have a pattern of clots. Which color? Red and purple, so you know the diagnosis. It's an angioma. Clinically, dermatoscopy. What is the pattern? The pattern is clots. Again, you see multiple clots, and the color of the clots is blue. So we have a pattern of blue clots, and together with other clues, this pattern tells us it's a BCC. Clinically, dermatoscopy. Again, there is a pattern of clots. The clots are large and polygonal, look like cobblestones, but we can call them clots. And what is the color? 
they are skin colored or brown. This is a dermal nevus. And all these patterns and colors lead to diagnosis. Red clots are hemangiomas, purple clots are hemangiomas, orange clots can, can be found in the seborrheic keratosis or in a PCC, yellow or white clots in the seborrheic keratosis, skin colored clots in a dermal congenital nevus like the ulnar nevus that we saw, brown clots in a nevus, for example in spitz nevus, but in any type of congenital nevus or in another type of congenital nevus that we call ulnar nevus, black clots in an hemangioma when the vessels are thrombosed, and blue clots in a basal cell carcinoma, for example. So pattern and colors lead to specific diagnosis in pattern analysis.